All right, everybody, welcome to Resume Transferable Skills group coaching call. I am super excited to have you here, and I am really love being able to talk to you about your resume. Um, I have a quote that I posted on LinkedIn the other day because one of the things I was sharing was that your resume is a marketing document. Your resume is not everything you want to say about yourself. It's information that the other person needs to see, needs to hear, so that they see you as a great candidate for the role. When you start to look at your resume through that lens, it becomes a very powerful document to showcase you as an awesome, great, perfect value add candidate. So listen to this little quote by Steve Jobs. Master the topic, the message, and the delivery. This is so good, right? You're the topic, or let's put it, the, no, the job description is the topic, right? The message is what you say about yourself in relation to that topic, to the job description. And then the delivery is the format, is the document, is the resume. That is the thing that's going to open doors. So of course, we want the delivery to be very impactful. So what I want to do today is I want to jump into showing and sharing a sample resume. Um, this is one that I wrote for a client. I took the names out, so there's total privacy here. But you will see, we'll go through it top to bottom, and you'll see the places that you are going to um, tweak, tailor your master document so that without changing everything about it, there are the little things that you change that will make your resume much more relevant to the person reading it so that you're giving them just enough information to make an impactful uh, impression on them, for them to see you as that awesome, awesome candidate. So let's, let's jump right in here. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at this. In this particular person's job search, they were going for a senior payroll specialist role. I have listed senior payroll specialist right here at the top, first thing. Now, this person may not be leaving a senior payroll specialist role and looking for another one. This person could be giving themselves a promotion. What if they're currently just a payroll specialist? I say just, right? But senior is a promotion. Senior is the, is the next step in their career. Senior is the next step in their career that makes the most sense. So when you do this, you are going to list the exact job title that you are applying for. This is more like raising your hand and saying, this is the role I'm interested in versus reflecting your career past. Keep that in mind. It's important for applicant tracking systems. They are The system is looking for the job title, but as you know from the job search strategy I teach, I don't want you doing a bazillion online applications. I want you making this relevant for the human on the other side who's going to be looking. And mentioning what you're applying for is the perfect start. Now, these other two sections, this is going to be uh, maybe something about the job function, about the function of the role or a key skill. If project manager is something that's mentioned in the job description, as a, a key skill or an aspect of the role, then that's why we're including this here. Business process transformation is a component of the goals that the this role has. So we're going to include those little tidbits. Maybe you put the industry in there. That could be one of the things. But these other two are optional, but you want them to be highly relatable to the role that you're applying for. Now, let's take a look at this uh, summary here. An experienced payroll specialist with proven ability to manage processes, expertly govern employee benefits. I want you to go straight to the heart of the job description in that first sentence. 
pick out the couple of things that you know you do, experiences you have that are going to help them solve their problems, that are going to help them achieve their goals in that role. Then you're going to go into more of how you show up right? This is describing you in the same way your pro scan describes you. This is giving them a picture of who you are and what you can do and those skills that underpin the success and results that you create. Now, I love this one because we included a little bit of fun here, a little bit of personality, a payroll wizard and compliance ninja with multiple platform experience. So now here's the value add. Um, interdirected, energetic, capable of building teams. Again, now we're sliding into a little bit more of those transferable skills and the way you show up. Notice how this interjects everything. Notice this isn't just about tasks and responsibilities. It's about who you are and why you're valuable. And when we get down here to business proficiencies in this section, this is, this is probably the area where you may be tailoring your resume the most. And I say that because this is a keyword area. This is something that you can tweak depending on the role. You're going to be, you know, the job description may include some aspects of key skills, required skills, et cetera. So you definitely want to include those. But if the job description is light on that, that's no big deal because you can read through the bullet points and see exactly what you're looking for. You can read those in the sentences. It might be something about being a problem solver. Whatever it is, pick up on those little nuances and definitely jump in and trade these things in and out. Don't include something that's not relevant. Um, include something that is maybe elevated. Look for something specific. And if you have a skill that elevates it, include that. All right, let's move on to the next stage. Essential skills and achievements. Now we've worked really hard to create essential skills narratives for you that um, describe you, how you show up and the strengths that you bring to the table when you're in your strength zone. Those do not need to change very much. What you do want to pay attention to in tweaking your resume is the accomplishments, is the achievements. Have a menu of accomplishments. Um, get caught up. Spend some time with the accomplishment worksheets. Collect all your favorites. Start keeping track going forward so that you can have this menu to choose from. And that way, when you see something in the job description, a bullet point, and you can be like, oh my gosh, I have an accomplishment that's highly aligned to that piece of the job description. Now you're going to go to your menu, you're going to take one out, and you're going to put another one in. Simple, simple. Slide one, an irrelevant one out, put a, a relevant one in. Now you're going to go through each of these and make sure that each of these accomplishments, each of these achievements are best utilized that way. If they're talking a lot about uh, resolving conflicts and cross-functional teams, then of course you're going to pick an accomplishment that talks about that. Go through all of your essential skills and make sure accomplishments are highly relevant to the role you're seeking. Now we get down to the professional experience area. This is where you want to include some metrics. You want to include a little bit more detail about some of the roles and responsibilities. Love, love, love for you to have some strong action words here. Using the words responsible for, manage, those, are, those words are way overused. Notice how we've used handles, onboards, develops, creates, processes, performs. We've started each one of these bullet points with a word that starts to create a picture of how you show up. Because yes, of course you manage things. Of course you're responsible for things. But this is going to give people a better sense of everything you did. And also just be interesting, right? Resumes are not easy to read through. Uh, as a hiring manager, I can tell you that the most interesting resumes are the ones that capture 
the elements of the job description and get creative with the way you're describing the things you did. Let's move on. Um, again, notice, as I mentioned, this person's current role is payroll specialist. They're taking this opportunity to give themselves a promotion. That's why we have senior payroll specialist at the beginning. Now, next one, fosters, supports, delivers, oversee. Look at the action words that we're using here. We're not necessarily getting into a lot of minutia. We're not talking about what was included in those bi-weekly, semi-monthly, monthly, quarterly uh, reports, right? We don't need to go there. Leave something to the imagination and leave something in there that the person who's interviewing you can follow up with. Now, when we get to questions that you can ask in an interview, in one of our interview coaching um, calls, I'll walk you through questions you can ask that will give you more opportunity to dive into some of the details that maybe you've left out. So let's, we'll save that one for another one. But again, we go down, executed, offered, processed, issued. Notice these great words and notice how most of these bullet points are one line or two line max. You don't need to get into a ton of detail in order to present yourself in a compelling way. In fact, less can be more, absolutely. We want to keep the attention of the person reading it. We don't want to confuse them, and we want to keep all of these things highly relevant to the position you're applying for. All right. Now, last but not least, we get down here to key technologies. Now, depending on the role you're applying for, uh, sometimes you may want to push those key technologies up to page one. There's no 100% right or wrong here. But again, since these are kind of those givens, these are kind of those no-brainer things, but we know it's important to include them because they've been mentioned in the job description, then include all of those. Your education, you do not have to put in your years of education, it's not necessary, or your years if you served, especially if you want to keep your resume ageless. Do not feel obligated to do that. If there is a specific area of study that you want to include, then of course you can include that. And notice I've just put university here because for privacy reasons, I didn't want to say the exact university that this client went to, but you're going to. And if you want to include some areas of study, some special coursework, even under education, this is where you can include certifications and other professional development. There'll be ways that you can headline this that will help express your continual investment in yourself if you have done so. All right. So this is a great resume. This is a resume that is just enough to share all of the relevant information. It's done simply and it's done in a way, in a delivery, right? A simple delivery that opens doors, that gets people to notice you so that you can present your best self. There is no reason to over communicate here. Um, keep in mind who you're speaking with. Don't be afraid to edit stuff out. Don't feel obligated to share everything about you. Don't be a cheesecake menu, fa cheesecake factory menu in your resume. Be in and out burger. Be concise. Add those little tidbits, add those little extras, make sure they're available. But your core proposition needs to be you and the way you align with the role. All right, I'll talk to you next time.